What's going on, YouTube? Okay, okay, come on, so it's more or less like Mega Battle 4 in the last part. I finished up the Meteor Combat, I took a laser man. In this part, we are going to take on the final boss of the game. Real quick, you want to switch up your folder? Um, if you use air hacks and such like I have, because... Uh, well, I, there's going to be two boss fights. First one, you know, just regular field. The second one, the boss falls in the air, so you should have like air hacks and things work. So what I did was... Uh, I think this might have already been in here, but I put in the Hitchhiker for the Advance, the Bubble Spread. Put in a few more Life Swords, because Life Sword, you know, is like a favorite for my Advance. I kept the Bar Swords in, because I tend to use the uh, Sonic Wave thing. I kept uh, one Air Hawk in, because, well, one, I couldn't figure out what to put in. And because the Bubble Spread before it, I can still use that against him. Our uh, Air Grab, might want to take those out, those on like the final boss of the game. But they'll still work on. Uh, you know, the boss right before him. Um, you can actually use this against the final boss, this doesn't really do much. And other than that, that's pretty much it. Oh, I put in Blue Moon, and I took out. I don't know what I took out. Probably something useful. Oh, probably one of the Air Hawks. Anyway, um, I guess in the last episode, you should have 620 HP at this point. Um, I'm not because I missed one of the. Um, one of the scenarios, it became Thunderman scenario instead. And I don't remember how much uh, sub memory you should have uh, for standard chips. Let me see if I can uh, find it in my notes real quick. 22. I don't remember how much you start with. Uh, I think you start with 4. I, feel, uh, you, I think you should have 26 by the time this playthrough is over. I think. I have 25. I don't remember where I missed one. But getting max uh, MB isn't really all that helpful. Actually, all right, no, anyway, let's just head on in. Well, the magnetic, oh, I already read this part. Okay, so head on in. Make sure you save before this, because you can't save once you're in here. Your save feature and your communication features are both blocked. So, let's get to it. So you should run into, like, one or two battles in here, but... You guaranteed one, I think. Right about here. You should run into it. Oh, really? No. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, these fucking dick faces. Battle with guys. Can I run? Okay, sweet. I can run away from these guys now. And here we go. Land! That must be the control system! Wonder how we can get in there. Ah, and we're so close! Evil energy detected. Careful, Mega Man, you're not alone! I am the OS for the anti planet missile. Duo. Anti planet missile? What do you got against our planet? The only command in memory is to judge and destroy evil. A massive amount of evil has been detected on your planet. It is you humans. You are highly intelligent, but have evil in your hearts. I must punish your planet according to my program. What? I'm not gonna let you do that. This ends here. How interesting. Let's just see how powerful you really are. Do you have the power to wipe out your own evil? Boo! I don't know why it's boo. Ah. Mega Man, behind you! Try my Dark Soul! Why is Mega Man saying that? Bring it on. Show me what you got. Listen up, Mega Man. This is, this, bleh, this is a battle against yourself. Okay, I'll right away. Leave it to me. Here we go, Mega Man. Battle routine. Set. Execute. Alright, so what Land just said is you're battling against yourself. That's entirely true! I'm um, your Dark Soul. I probably already went over this in the last time we faced a Dark Soul, but that was like forever ago, so I'll go over it again. Um, your Dark Soul can do anything you can do, but um, you should be able to do it better since you have a brain and, you know, you're an actual player. So whatever program events and stuff you've used in the game, it can use, and it has the same amount of HP as you do. So I have to, I have to, I have to be a little bit careful. I kind of almost want to save that, because I feel like I might need it against this. So I think it'll battle for the most part like I do, or like you do, rather. 
which means he'll probably be using area grants as well. Fuck! I was about to move upwards too. Piece of shit. And that's the same folder you have. Why did I have to use this? Oh, that was a long story. Fucking A. That literally like ruined my entire gameplay. Him taking that shit. Ugh. Wow, this faggot used that! You piece of shit, don't do that. Aw, oh, not bad! Ugh. It popped. Fuck. I don't have life sword either. Actually, no one. Alright, if this connects, we'll kill it. So. I literally just have to get in here and hit it. Yo, fuck you, Dark Mega Man! Oh, right. What the fuck?! You piece of shit! Don't just life sword me! Fuck! Oh, they heal your HP back? Oh, I didn't even know that. We did it! Oh god, thank god they heal your HP back to max. So you defeated the evil within. A fine battle. However, you've only succeeded in repressing your own evilness. <sighs> it is gone for now, but it will likely reawaken one day. In short, you are not powerful enough to defeat evil. Living creatures all both have good and evil in their heart. No, duh. The important thing is whether you can fight your own evil when it awakes. Or when it wakes. My mission is to destroy evil, even if it means annihilating the human race. I won't let you do that. This ends here. I am only following my program. I must destroy you because of the evil you have within. Rar. Battle body. Right arm. Left arm. Duo battle form! And now Exodia just obliterates and, and we lose. Plan! I know. We gotta save the planet. Here we go, Mega Man. Last routine. Set. Execute. I must destroy all you. Alright, so. I think this boss is the hardest boss in the Mega Man franchise. Well, the hardest final boss, rather. And that's because this piece of shit flies in the air. Now, he has like five different attacks. He has Justice Fist, which will, you'll see flashing panels, and then he'll just come down with a fist, it'll break four panels. He has Destroy Laser, which is a standard attack, shoots a laser beam down the middle row, and it has rings that alternate between um, the columns. You'll see when it happens, Giant Hook. He swings his fist and hits uh, two panel, uh, pretty much a uh, Life Sword range. He has Metal Meteor Knuckles, which is just him raining down his knuckles, or just punching all the panels, and I probably should have put air shoes in my folder because of that. Uh, he has dual missile, which he just shoots a missile. Um, he has angry impact, which he shoots his face at a panel, and he cracks the surrounding panel at all with that target full of panels. And I think that's it. In case it's not, well, I guess I'll just die. Alright, so let's try to get this on the first try. Oh, he only shoots his dual laser once he's in the middle like this. Okay. And you can only damage him when his uh his core is exposed, like most final bosses in the Mega Man franchise. Oh, there's dual fist. Fuck you. There's giant hook. Uh, this thing is useless entirely. Uh, Alright, let's, let's do it like this, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure Dual Laser also pierces invincibility! Fuck. My invincibility would wear off right there. Right as he goes to punch. Like, hello? Fuck. Oh, good thing I say this, I guess, right? I need it now. Laser that. Oh! Yeah! Yo, can I get off? Uh, Alright, let's use this. Invis, let's go! Something way 
this now and hope that. Fuck! Alright, one life sword thing. I'm probably gonna lose because I'm trying to wait for life sword and. Fuck! My air grip literally wore off at the worst possible time. Alright, well, fuck bubble spread too, I guess! Great! I know I'm trapped! Guess I just lose this fight, huh? Alright, well, here's one. Just have to wait till he attacks, so. And I'm in the middle. Whoop! Okay, left B, right B. Oh, no, 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 no. B, C, D. Wait a minute. You C, D, B, C, D. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm so mad I said to do that. I'm like, wait. Is this how ABCs go? Fuck you! This isn't as hard as I remember it being, actually. Oh. Oh, no. That's... Y leaves. So. That has to go with Y. Or long lead. Let's fuck up life sword again. Oh! Oh, there's Angry Impact. Piece of shit. Stop! Oh god. There it is. That's definitely not as hard as I remember it being. Maybe it's just because I'm older now, so I'm just better at the game. I did get off some pretty clutch attacks, so like that life sword and that heat spread. Woo! Whoa. Oh, also, I forgot to mention what I was going to talk about during the fight. Is, uh, Duo is actually from Mega Man 8. There's a boss called uh, Duo. And just like this, he came from outer space to destroy evil. In a meteor. I don't know if that's actually, like, some kind of folklore or something, but, yeah. How did you beat my battle form? But it is too late. Gravity is already pulling the missile toward your planet. It is too late to change its course. Just wait and see. We won't ever give up. Then give it a try. I am interested in seeing what you got. You should cross the bridge and then use the control system. Only one hour till it enters the atmosphere. Hurry, Mega Man! Okay! If I turn this... Dang, it's heavy! You can do it! As Mega Man fought for his life, Naxa told the world about the incoming asteroid and Mega Man's heroic effort. With only one hour to impact, the sudden announcement caused mass panic. Oh no, the asteroid's gonna kill us all! This place isn't gonna protect us from an asteroid strike! More history! In the middle of the street, how would that? Mega Man's given his best shot, but what can one Navi do? Had I known about this, I'd have married long ago! This is terrible. What are the officials doing? All you think about are yourselves. At this very moment, Mega Man's out there risking his life. Well, it's not like we could do anything about it. All we can do is sit here and wait for the effort to strike. Mega Man's just some kid's navvy. What are the chances of him helping us? We're most likely doomed, but we can't give up hope. Oh, well, that's Sal, I think. She's actually in Blue Moon, so I mean, it makes sense that she's here. But in Red Sun, she's not in that game at all. I don't think. Miss Sal! Mega Man struggling for his life inside the asteroid. Yet you guys have given up all hope? Nothing good comes of despair. We mustn't give up hope while Mega Man is still fighting back. Isn't there something we can do? Yeah, we gotta help Mega Man somehow. <laughs> good idea. Even if our voices don't reach Mega Man, he might sense our support somehow. Mega Man, go for it! Mega Man, you can do it! Mega Man! 
<laughs> what are you guys gonna do? I'm gonna root for Mega Man. He's the only one who can save our planet. Mega Man! Mega Man! Mega Man! You can do it! Don't give up! These are all such generic things to say. Mega Man! Meanwhile, led by the net battlers at the tournament, the shouts from all over the world were conveyed to Mega Man. The Topia Col Coliseum have. I think there's the people we face the Mega Man, fight, fight! Don't let us down! Mega Man! I think he's in now too. You can do it! Hey guys, that Navi Mega Man is gonna win! He was amazing when I saw him at the tournament! I really believe he'll be able to save us! We believe, Mega Man! Yeah, I'm that. There's no better Navi than that Mega Man! You must have faith in him! Keep it up, Mega Man! Mega Man! Mega Man, go for it! Don't give up! I don't think I can do an old lady's voice anymore. Not for him. Oh shit, it's Mr. Famous. Mega Man, protect Mother Nature! Don't let us down! Mega Man is the best Navi in the world! Go, go, Mega Man! Have no fear, Mega Man won't let us down. All we can do is believe in him. We must shout at the top of our lungs. Shara. No! An asteroid strike would make this planet way too hot! I couldn't stand that! Save us, Mega Man! Shara's a cold country, but our hearts are on fire. Hang in there, Mega Man! Three cheers for Mega Man! Mr. Mega Man! Yeah, Mega Man! Mr. Mega Man, hello. Are you kidding me? Go, Mega Man! We're all behind you! Insert static noise here. Because I'm not making static noise. What the? Mega Man? Mega Man! I've been cut from Mega Man! Seems a power cable has snapped. The high voltage must have did him in. There's no way to operate him now. No! At this point, there's only one way to revive him. There's still hope? We must bypass the snapped cable to restore power. Like this! Insert loud scream here. Dor Regal? Don't get me wrong. I shall create a world of utter evil. Insert loud scream here. Except, I'm pretty sure he said a world without good or evil, but overrun by... Okay, that's not enough. Regal! Mega Man! Mega Man! Hang in there! Mm no good. I can't move. But I'll never give up. Give up already. 30 minutes to atmospheric entry. What's this? Why is the atmosphere vibrating like that? Vibration sensor? Oh. And Mega Man. Mega Man. Mega Man! Human voices? That can't be. They're rooting for me. They're transmitting their power to me. Wow! What's this power welling up within Mega Man? They must be awakening some sort of latent power within him. Lan! Lend me the power to save you all! Mega Man, you ready? Full synchro! Rawr! Go for it! He did it. Mega Man, now I have seen what you can do. Your planet barely escaped destruction. I will delay punishing you for now. In the meantime, I will slumber as I travel the universe. Next time I pass by your planet, decades, or even centuries from now, you will again be judged. 
Then we'll see if... What? Then we'll see if need to be punished. That doesn't make sense. Now be gone, little warrior. Unless I just read that wrong. I am pretty dumb. The asteroid was thus averted. Lan! Lan! Hmm? Lan, are you okay? Uh... Huh? What about the asteroid? It's gone, thanks to you and Mega Man. Oh yeah, Mega Man! Mega Man! Mega Man! No need to yell, I can hear you, Lan. The asteroid's gone, but it's not over. Wait, Regal! Dad! When did his dad get up? Darn, you mean I can't get up there? Dad! Glenn, grab onto this. Chud! He's not in Red Sun either, so that's just weird. What are you planning to do, Regal? I'm gonna vanish. I won't let the officials arrest me. Wait! It's not too late to start over! You risked your life to save the planet! Chaud's here! He's an official, so... If you surrender and pay for your crimes... Len, I don't think you understand. Paying for crimes is the furthest thing from my mind. I don't feel an ounce of guilt. You're the ones who should feel guilty. Thinking you've done good when you've really caused harm. Something that you think is right can actually be evil. Lan, didn't you chase my syndicate's navy to the park area, and then destroy a navy who had no idea what was going on? Chaud, you must have deleted countless navies, claiming it was your duty. Some of them are probably innocent. Dr. Hikari, if you hadn't pursued your net navy project, that crime wouldn't be as bad as it is now. And the scientists who uncover this thriving net society. Exiled, a certain robotic scientist, and fell into evil ways. I once knew that exiled scientist. He was my father. That means you're... Hm, never mind that. Let's stick to the matter at hand. Humans commit crime without even realizing it. In short, you're all criminals. You and your entire race. Criminals judging criminals. Don't you find it ridiculous? That's why I'm resisting arrest. I won't be judged by anyone. I intend to stick to my beliefs till the bitter end. Even when I'm gone, evil will still remain. Farewell. Wait, Regal! And just like that, he launches himself off the building. Or tower. Building tower. Ah. Evil will still remain. I should probably give all these characters different voices so you can tell who's talking. Even though you can see the pictures. And just like that, that's the end of the game. But that's not the end of this LP. Um, as you know, there's six souls in this game. And I will have to play through this game two more times. At least two more times. Because you might not be guaranteed the souls in just three playthroughs. Because I know at one time I was screwed out of a soul. I'll have to play through a fourth time. Um, I will be playing through this game two more times. Uh, during those two playthroughs, though, I'll probably only just show the Navi scenarios that haven't shown up before. And then after that, I'll take on uh, Black Earth and uh, whatever's left over after that. And other than that, that'll probably be pretty much it. I will still try to do the Red Sun scenario as well. It's just hard to do both games at once, so... That's part of the reason why I stopped uploading the game before, because doing both uh, games at once is pretty hard, going back and forth, and playing through the game six times isn't exactly the, the you know, most entertaining thing in the world. So there's that. Um, outside of that, uh, I pretty much enjoy this game, just the grinding, and like I said, playing through this game six times isn't, most, isn't the most fun thing. But yeah, I like this game. Uh, it's, I know most people say they don't like it, but then again, like most people say they like Battle Network 3, I'm not really a fan of it. And there's still stuff to be answered in this game, like who Regal's father was, and stuff like that. Uh, I may end up doing Battle Network 5, but that's... Ugh. 
doing the liberation missions would be annoying. Um, but if I did do battle number five, I'd probably do uh, double team DS. I wouldn't do both teams, um, but I'd probably end up doing Colonel because that's what I initially played. Like with this, I chose Blue Moon, but that's what I initially played. There's not really much else we can talk about right now uh, involving this game. You know, I still have more free. Well, I don't know if I'll show the rest of the free tournaments because I pretty much showed what happened at the free tournament. I just have to do the scenarios and whatnot. And getting the mega chips. Um, oh, that's something. I, since I'm not doing the uh, the whole game over again for the next playthroughs, I probably am not gonna show all the item changes. Um, if you guys want. When I'm playing through, I could maybe like make a list of all the important items, you know, like HP memories you might miss on the second or third playthrough. But again, that's something you can just look up. But if you guys really want to see that, um, I'll probably hold off on recording for a little while, um, just to get some feedback on if you guys want to see that or not. Um, just because, like I said previously, if you miss something in a prior playthrough and it's important, like if you miss an HP memory. That's supposed to be in the first playthrough, and you need to get a battle chip in the second playthrough. It'll still be the item it was in the first playthrough. Then you have to play through the game again and get it. Okay, so 15 hours, 89 standard chips, three mega chips, two giga chips, two giga chips. Uh, what were they? Oh, right, because I got the uh, the shade thing, the shade man thing. Okay, could have three if I got the one from the internet net dealer. But anyway, three days after the asteroid incident. Dr. Regal's whereabouts were still unknown, despite a full investigation. At the Coliseum in Utopia, a delayed ceremony was held. Congratulations on another fine win. And thank you for saving the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, the planet has been named World Net Batter, World Net Battle Goodwill Ambassador. Let's deepen the ties between the world's nation through net battles. I like how a fifth grader's doing all this. What's wrong? Why the glum look? That's not like you. Oh, I just can't stop thinking about Regal's last words. I'm not in the mood to celebrate. You mean I think about evil still remaining? I think he's right. Still, we all should have the power to overcome it. All of us have the power to fight evil. So we must build a world in which everyone has a place, in preparation for Duo, for when Duo once again comes to this planet, centuries from now. Yeah, you're right. Besides, we're the ones who are going to build a new age. And now, I'd like to ask Land to show us his technique. Huh? You mean I gotta do something? The crowd wants to see your net battle technique. Uh, you see what happens is you, you open up a DS light. Please ready yourself. And you hit the power button. And you click the R button to go in the net. Net battle technique. Wonder what I should do. Vlad, show us your best move. We came all this way to see you perform. Get it together. Vlad, Mega Man, you can do it. Is everyone here? Don't get nervous. Vlad, my mom's here? Stop stalling. It's gonna get dark soon. And Chaud, too? Hmm. Seems we've got no choice. Ready, Mega Man? Yep, always am. Jack in, Mega Man, execute! I guess that's his best move right there. Pretty powerful, if you ask me. And that's the end of the game. So now you press start and go to continue and you click from start game 2 you literally just start the game over so I'm gonna skip this because I've already done this and I've already shown this so there's no point in going over it again just come on skip 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 and essentially it's just a new game plus so like it's PET you pretty much play through all the events of the game again with slight differences um, Enemies will be harder because this is now hard mode. 
Um, you'll get, like I said, you'll get different items, and you should get two more souls. Keep your HP in your folder, in your library, and stuff like that. In my, in your Zenny, in your book for X. So, you know, it's, I, I thought that was always pretty cool. I'm like, wow, we get a new game plus in the Game Boy Advance game? This is pretty, pretty boss. But, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. This episode's like 30 minutes long, but I always use the credits and such. So, anyway, as usual, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe to my channel. Good jazz, this is Kyle Ken, and I'll catch you next time. Later.